Hey you guys, it's your girl Cree. Welcome back to another video. I know, long time no see. To my OGs and my newbies, I'm so glad to see you. Your girl took some time off to take care of some business. Life has been very much lifing, but your girl is back and ready to push out this content. So firstly, happy new year to you guys. I hope the new year has treated you well so far. And if not, I hope things start looking up from here. So as I previously stated back in December, and I know if you guys are new, you don't know this, but I did a lot of unnecessary spending last year. So this year I really wanted to hone in on curating my collection. Last year, I was just getting in the game, just really trying to figure out what I liked, what I didn't like. This year, I really wanted to dive into exploring more affordable options, i.e. dupes to some of those expensive fragrances that some of us know and love, but just aren't willing to fork out that amount of money. Or even if you have those fragrances or have had those fragrances, but don't want to repurchase, or you just want something else to piggyback off of when you don't want to go for your expensive fragrance, whatever the case your girl wants to provide that for you so i definitely want to share my experience if anybody can get something out of things that i've already purchased um, and just get a difference of opinion then i would love to be that for you if that sounds like something that you guys like and would like to see then definitely stick around that said moving forward i'll definitely still be picking up my occasional designer or even niche fragrance here and there but mostly i'll just be cutting back on the blind buying i'll be doing more sampling and actually physically getting up and going to the store to sample out said perfumes if that is an option and as always take anything all of my opinions with a grain of salt everyone has different perceptions and pull out different things in a fragrance so just always keep that in mind but i do recommend that you guys do the same Go in the store, sample the fragrance if you can before taking anybody on YouTube's word for it because you just never know what you're going to get or how something will perform on your skin. Now that that's all out the way, if all hearts and minds are cleared, as you guys can see from the title of the video, this will be from the house of Dapper Fragrances. Uh, this is an inspired by house. I've heard good things about them. I haven't seen all the reviews that I would like to see. Um, so I just wanted to put mine out there and give people a, like I said, difference of opinion, um, give my perspective and my thoughts on these fragrances. I know a lot of people have heard about them. I even had a subscriber request that I did pick some of these up. So that's definitely why I went ahead on with this video. I'm not gonna stop here, you guys. So, you know, if you guys don't like this house or you do like this house, just hold tight. I'll be trying out some other ones as well. But I wanted to bring this because this one was specifically requested. So for that subscriber, thank you so much for requesting yeah, that. Yeah, you guys, we're going to go ahead and get into this video. I have here in my possession six fragrances from Dapper Fragrances. Just for a disclaimer, this is not sponsored. All of my opinions are 100% my own. I am not being compensated for this video, although I wish I was. That said, I will always give you guys my true and honest opinion, no matter what the case. And so, I have already opened these. Y'all already know. I just can't help it. <laughs> so, here is the box. And this is how they came. They came excellently wrapped. Came with the bubble wrap, you know. Nothing came broken. So, we love that. Came in a small box. Um, my shipping was average. It wasn't really, really fast. I think it took about maybe five days. This is not my first time purchasing from Dapper. I actually purchased from Dapper prior and I actually have had that in previous videos, but I never gave them like a dedicated review or video because I had only purchased maybe one or two things. I know for a fact I got two things. I got one roll-on and I had one spray and that was of Killian Princess and you guys, I didn't love it at all. And so for that reason, I never featured it on this channel because i didn't want to give a negative review now that i have that fragrance i can actually say it was similar it was not spot on and i'm not saying that it's supposed to be because again these are dupes you guys these are not replicas these aren't the exact fragrance it has to be a little different i don't even think the goal is to be exactly the same however i'm definitely going to tell you if i feel like it gets close if i have the original fragrance that was close However, I felt like instead of it pulling, like drying down more into that marshmallow that I feel like the actual Killian Princess does, that particular fragrance leaned more into that green ginger. And I didn't like that. 
I didn't like that. I felt like the dry down was too different. So, but I didn't feel like that was video worthy. So here we are. Oh, I'm going to show you guys all of the scents that I got. You guys, these are all in 30 mils. These retail for $35, I believe. I did use a discount code, which they have them on their website. I believe I got probably 20% off, I think, because I think this came up to like $200. Um, and I think that was the discount code that they had. But you can see it on the website. I'm not sure exactly what it is off the top of my head. You can always use a discount code, so that's nice. So these are all extract de parfums. So to my understanding, these are supposed to be the strongest formulations that you can get of a perfume. So these should be pretty strong and long lasting is the claim. And then they all have the actual name of whatever it is that they are duping or similar to. So this is Dapper Fragrances formulation of Acro Bake. Searchy Nell Aqua Jolie, which I was actually influenced to get this by someone, you guys. I had never heard of that fragrance before, but the girl really sold me on it. So that's why I got it. I have Escapade Gourmand. So de Janeiro, Charosa 40, Bianco Latte, Minnie Mouse, and then Hufflepuff. Okay, you guys, I'll put the actual picture beside each one of these of what it's supposed to be duping, just in case you guys aren't familiar with that fragrance. I may even pop up the notes, but I'm not going off of notes today, you guys. If I don't know them off of memory, I'm not going to bring it to you. I'm literally just going into this as if... I'm just a regular person like you, and and I am, <laughs> and I'm just purchasing a fragrance that maybe I smelled or heard something about. Um, so yeah, I don't have the notes in front of me. I'm not going to look them up <laughs> at this time. I'm literally just going off of what I smell, and I think with some of these, we should know what's in it based off of what I smell. Some I do know a little from memory, so I'll give you what I remember. We're just going to pick at random. So... Ugh, the one I picked first is Minnie Mouse. So Minnie Mouse is a inspired fragrance from the Minnie Mouse of House of Siage. I have never purchased a House of Siage fragrance. I'm not going to say I never will, but it would have to be heavily discounted, which I do understand they run sales all the time. So it's possible, but at this time, I'm not gung-ho about any of them, nor do I feel like I need to have any of them absolutely in my collection. But... Out of the ones that I've heard a lot about, this is one of the main ones. And so um, here is the bottle. I do like that they put this on here like this, similar to how it looks. And they have the little cupcake on here. So that's nice. So that you know what this is. Um, other than that, as far as their bottles, hmm, they're fine. I don't have a problem with it. Don't bother me at all. Okay. And so I'm just going to take off the top. And... It is not magnetic. You just pull it off. Um, and then this is a spray, just so you guys can see. Okay, I sprayed it in the air. I'm also going to spray it on me somewhere, but it has a really nice spray. Um, I'm going to spray it on me. Yeah, I've already smelled all of these. I'm not going to hold y'all, but I just want to refresh myself and, you know, do it on camera. I'm going to be honest. I think I remember what is supposed to be in here, or at least some of what's supposed to be in here. And like I said, I'll leave that here for you guys. But for me, I really can't say I get the stuff that's supposed to be in here. I think there is supposed to be some type of maybe whipped cream note in here. This scent is not creamy to me at all. I don't know if this smells like the original because I've never smelled it, but I hope it doesn't. <laughs> Immediately off of first sniff. And I mean, I was expecting to be wild because people really love this and they hype it. And also, I believe this is a raspberry scent, which is what made me gravitate towards it because I really like raspberry. <sighs> this smells... I'm just getting an overwhelming amount of fingernail polish remover. It smells like fingernail polish remover, you guys. I'm going to give it some time to start to dry down to see if anything else comes out. But you guys, I got that before when I tried it. 
immediately. Um, as you can see, I have not put a very much of a dent in here. I've had this for about two weeks. I think two weeks. Some of these I've tried, but this one, <laughs> if y'all got this, you let me know if you got something different. It's fine, but I'm just telling you what I'm getting. And on my skin, and even in the air, all I get is fingernail polish remover. And not in a good way. This was a no for me, you guys. I'm a pass. I'm not saying that it smells like Minnie Mouse, but I actually have heard a review as of today where somebody was talking about that fragrance that they got. They were sent it in PR. And she said that. And it, I thought that was interesting because I'm like, well, maybe this does smell like it then. I don't know. Y'all let me know if y'all had that fragrance, what it smells like to you. Do you get any tinge of fingernail polish remover? I don't know, but this was a no for me. I do not recommend it. I don't. Next up, well, we're still with the House of Siage. So this is their version of Hufflepuff. And this guy's is like raved about. I really, really wanted this. Um, from what I can recall, I know this was supposed to be like a lemon fragrance. I feel like the notes had like lemon, uh, Virginian cedar. So it was maybe like a woody fragrance as well. Um, mm, I don't remember, but I'll definitely put it up there. I recall what I remember when I first sprayed this, but I'm going to spray it now just so y'all can get my reaction. See if it's the same. Because this, again, I have not sprayed very much of this either. Now, I'm going to say, I think a lot of you guys would like this. I get a little bit of lemon, but it's not, not really what I'm, what I was expecting. I'm getting some kind of apple. I'm going to tell y'all why. This fragrance, I'm sure a lot of people will like it. Because this fragrance to me, upon first sniff and now, reminds me of Swiss Arabian's Casablanca. It does. As it dries down, I'm maybe getting a little bit of the lemon. It's not very sweet. It's not really creamy to me. It's none of the things that I expected. I'm just letting y'all know. It wasn't a lot of depth to these fragrances to me. I was actually really shocked. Because one thing I can say about that other one that I got before, it was loud and it did last even longer than the original. Now this, especially from the person that I was watching that raved about this, and I haven't really seen anything bad about this, but y'all, my experience is not theirs. As it dries down, I'm starting to get maybe a little vanilla, maybe a little bit more creaminess. Still getting an overwhelming sense of Casablanca, which I know I struggled with Casablanca in the beginning. You didn't want a fragrance that smells like it. Yeah, y'all, uh, this, this is giving me a little bit, sorry, I went back. This is giving me a little bit of a Swedish fish vibe you know the candy sweetest fish as well as a little play doh -iness. i'm not feeling it i'm not feeling either one of these y'all i do not recommend them personally i don't recommend them so next up i have escapade gourmand now this is obviously the vanilla that everybody is talking about broke the internet this along with bianco latte which i also have that one as well from here really wanted to try it from here not as a replacement i just wanted to see what this smelled like because i've seen people say that they really like this and i was going to let that be the determining factor because i wasn't able to get this in a sample the actual samples that i did if y'all haven't checked that out definitely go back and look i did do some samples but i wasn't able to get this one of the niche fragrances because it was sold out and so um i just wanted to try it out and see what it smelled like really just to decide which one i want to get this one or bianco latte let me spray it in the air um as you guys can see i have put quite the dent in this one this is the only one that i actually have really dented because I've really tried this out. I have worn this. I cannot say, you guys, I'm putting this up here. I cannot say that these last super long. I cannot. And I know they're supposed to be extract the parfums. 
I cannot agree. I can't, especially not with this one. This is beautiful. I like it. It is like a sugary sweet vanilla. That's really it. It's not much to it. It doesn't take you on a journey. It's pretty linear. I just get a sugary sweet vanilla and that's fine. I have no problem with it. I think it would be great for layering purposes, but will I purchase that big bottle for a layering fragrance? No, no ma'am. Um, this is cute, but to me, this also was on the same lines of like a pink sugar, you know, without all the licorice and all the extra stuff that is in pink sugar. But at its core, the just the sugary sweetness, this must be like a grown up pink sugar type of fragrance. In my mind, that's what I'm getting. Maybe elevated, but is it elevated or is it just more expensive and a prettier bottle? That's what I'm curious about. So I do like this. I recommend if you guys wanted to try that out, that maybe you try this. But again, I have not smelled that fragrance to compare it, but I do like this. It's okay. But I wouldn't repurchase it. No, I wouldn't. Because to me, it doesn't last. And I don't even think, like layering wise, I wouldn't even put this up against my wrapped in vanilla. I use wrapped in vanilla from Bath and Body Works to layer with everything, you guys, for vanillas. Sugary sweet. I wouldn't even use this instead of that. And I'm just keeping it a buck. <laughs> Sorry to anybody who disagrees, but this is my experience and I just wanna give that difference of opinion because I haven't seen anybody say that and I maybe would have thought different about when I purchased so many of these if I had heard someone, at least one person, say something different and instead I saw everybody say they liked them, so. That's my experience. I just want to keep it a buck with y'all so that you make a, a very informed decision when you try them. Maybe try a sample size, you guys. I thought this would be cool. Like I said, it's only $35, so I'm not mad at it. I'm not distraught about any of these. And truth be told, if you guys do like them or anybody is interested, I was going to do a giveaway at 1K, but I might do a giveaway at 500 since it's taking me so long to get there. <laughs> I might do a giveaway, and if I do, I'll probably feature those because I know those are ones that people want to get their nose on. So just keep that in mind. But for this one, I do enjoy it. It's just not what I expected. Next up, we have Bianco Latte. Bianco Latte, you guys already know, is something that is on my wish list. I do plan to get it. I still haven't got it, you guys. Um, I'm not in a rush to get it. I'm just not. Uh, it's $150 retail. I'm not mad at that. I don't think that it's overpriced. I've seen people say that. It's not that for me because it packs such a punch in that sample that I'm not mad at it. You know, this is more of like a caramely vanilla. And I feel like it will be the vanilla that's a staple in my collection. So I do still plan to get this no matter what I feel about this. But let me let y'all in on how I feel. I'm going to use this side to on this one. And um, um, sorry, I went up my nose. So for this one, does it remind me of Bianco Latte? Yes. It's not spot on. Um, would I get it instead? Do I feel like you need both? Yes. Like, no. Let me clear that up. No, you don't need this one at all. <laughs> if you're going to get Bianco Latte, I say just get Bianco Latte. I don't think that this is going to give you what Bianco Latte does. To me, a fragrance that lasts as long as that one did, because I just had a little sample, and that lasts me for a long time, and it was beast mode. And I think just about everybody on YouTube that has done reviews can at least attest to that, that it is beast mode. To me, it's hard to get a beast mode vanilla fragrance just vanilla like most vanillas are in the background they're grounding a scent um if they're on the forefront they're normally not a beast for that to be as good as it is the quality of it yeah i'm gonna get that <laughs> uh do i like this this is fine it's drying down i still smell it but again y'all and it could just be me y'all let me know if y'all have had this experience these are not beast mode they are not uber strong and it could be different on clothes as far as like how long they last, but I haven't tried them on clothes. I'm trying them on skin um, because if, if they're extract the parfum, shouldn't they be lasting a little bit longer on my skin? 
I wouldn't say that these last longer than two hours. And they will be a skin scent if you still smell them at all. Personally. Mind you, I've tried some of these out the very first day that I got them. It's been two weeks, so I've been trying them out. Um, the only one that I've gotten, like I said, a lot of use out of is this Escapade Gourmand. And that's because I really like that sugary sweet aspect. I really do like that. This is fine, but do you need it to layer? No, you don't need it to layer with Bianco Latte because Bianco Latte don't need no help. Um, do you want it to layer with other things? I guess. I'm really not even getting Bianco Latte to layer. I'm getting it because I think I just want to have a quintessential vanilla that I can go to when I just want to smell like vanilla, sweet caramelized vanilla. That's what I'm getting it for. Um, I wouldn't get that to layer. $150 to layer, I'm not doing that. <laughs> you know, if you want it just to layer, maybe you should try this out. I, again, say get a smaller size, like a sample size. Um, and I'm going to show y'all because they did give me two samples as well. So these are their sample size and they do have little sprayers. So I would recommend that over getting this big bottle because... I just don't want you to feel like I feel <laughs> like I bought several cents that I can't do nothing with. But I'm going to give them. I'm definitely going to probably use those in a giveaway. So no worries. So, yeah. There you go. Bianco Latte. It's giving vanilla. It's nothing special. And I don't think it's as good as the original to me. Yeah. This is Searchy Nail Aqua Jolie. Again, this is one that I was influenced to get by a girl on YouTube who has been doing dapper fragrance reviews. I ain't mad at her. She seems to like all of these. And this is not a shot to anybody. This is just my experience. And I'm just not excited about them like I was when I, you know, they were on the way. I thought they were going to be good. I wouldn't have bought all of these if I knew this is how it would turn out. So just keep in mind what works for somebody else may not work for you. And it's okay. I'm just letting you know. Keep that in mind. Um, I don't remember what this was supposed to have in it, but the way she was describing it in the notes, it seemed like it would be so nice. And I kid you not. Sorry, y'all. Strong. It's just not doing it for me. You know, I'm noticing with all of these, particularly this one, as well as the Minnie Mouse, there is something in all of the dapper fragrance inspired by scents. There is an underlying smell in all of them that I don't like. I don't know if it's the oil that is used, but I can smell it and it has like, I, I, I don't know. I can't put my finger on it, but I don't like it. And I can smell it in all of them. Um, and I smelt it in my one that I got before, that Princess Inspired by Saint. And I don't, I don't care for it. Some of them is more prominent than others. And this one is more prominent in here. This is sweet. I'm sorry, y'all, if it don't seem like I'm giving you much to go on because that's exactly how I feel. I want it to come across this way because that's how I felt when I tried all of these scents. <laughs> I literally felt like I wasn't getting anything, like nothing with depth or nothing where I could detect the notes. Everything was just like, oh, it's sweet. Oh, it's vanilla. Um, I guess it could be raspberry sweet, but it's nothing like... It's, to me, these are not these are not the best dupes, personally. I, I just don't think so. Y'all don't come for me. I'm just I'm just giving you my thoughts. Next up, I have Acro Bake. Um, if you guys have been watching my channel, if you did watch that niche video, like I said, you know I really liked Acro Bake. Um, Y'all know I have Devotion, and it is not my favorite. But Acro Bake was something that I was like, oh yeah, I really want that. That said, you know, I got Acro Bake and I was like, ugh, the longevity was terrible. It really was. And I was like, oh, for the price, I don't know if I'm going to get it. Um, I'm here to tell you, I think I probably will get Acro Bake because, let's get into it. So, yeah, I'm going to spray this on my upper arm. Hmm. Hmm. Got that smell again. <laughs> so, you guys, for Acro Bake, it's definitely trying to get as 
close as possible to Acro Bay. It does have that strong lemony smell. I can actually say in this one that it's trying to get there. Like I can detect the lemon. It's definitely a heavy citrus. I feel like with this, I'm getting more of it like a lemon candy instead of with the actual Acro Bake, I felt like I was getting more of a lemon pastry. Not a cake, but like some type of lemony dessert. This is heavily on the lemon. I think somebody might like this in replace of Acro Bake. But for me, not so much. I think the longevity on this one is, is decent. It definitely is strong. It's not overpowering. It's not headache inducing. Could someone find this to be lemon cleaner-ish? Yes. Yes, but I felt like you could feel that with Acro Bake too. It just don't bother me. But um, this was okay. I wasn't mad at this one. Y'all, just so we clear, Escapade Gourmand, I'm cool with. This was okay. Like, I can use it. Um, I'll probably end up layering it with Devotion. Um, Escapade Gourmand, I can layer with anything that I want to sweeten, I guess. Um, and then this last one. Those others, I'm not. I'm not a fan of. This last one is going to be So De Janeiro Charosa 40. And you guys already know, I love that scent. I'm always trying to find ways to boost it, to strengthen it, make it last longer. And so that's why I got it. And yeah, um, honestly, this I don't have no gripes with. This is perfectly fine. It smells like it. Smells like it. Close enough. And I wouldn't say it's spot on, but it's definitely close enough. Close enough that I'm not mad at it. Yeah. You could definitely add this to the fragrance mist or your together weather if you have that by Bath and Body Works. And it'll give what you're trying to get it to give. Just a stronger version. This should last longer. I can't really speak to how long this lasts because I have not worn it by itself or with those yet. But I knew that um, I would. This I'm not mad at. So... I'm thinking maybe for some of those scents like this or possibly the Sol de Janeiro 62, the original Brazilian Crush, maybe that one because I did want to go back and get that one just because I heard good things about that one particularly and I think, well, I'm not going to say you can't mess it up, but I don't think they would. They did good with this, so I'm cool with taking a gamble on it. Just in this size, I wouldn't go any bigger. And yeah, y'all, so that was my first impression slash semi thoughts <laughs> not really a review but my thoughts on the dapper fragrances i will not be repurchasing um any more like fragrances that i have not tried I, I'm, I'm cool on them but i i can't lie in these samples they did a big one and this first one is caramello vanilla caramello vanilla or Carmelo Vanilla, one of them. So, and I love the little sprayer for the samples. I think that's really nice, nice size. So yeah, I sprayed this and y'all, I wasn't even mad at this. It's a nice spray for the samples, a lot comes out. So I highly recommend if you're gonna try it from them, y'all get the samples first. I ain't mad at this, it's a little bit of a burnt, burnt sugar, burnt caramel type of vanilla smell. But it's okay. Kind of reminds me of Escapade Gourmand. But y'all, the true tea, when I said they did their big one, it's this one. I never heard of this before. Y'all, I tried it out and fell in love. I've already purchased this size of it. And I, I kind of think I should have got a bigger size. But I won't be purchasing no more, I don't think. Unless it's the Charosa 62. And I did want to try Valaya, but I don't know. I don't trust them. <laughs> maybe a sample maybe the guy will send it to me in a sample but yeah i doubt it after this video um i'm just telling y'all the truth so this is a compared to fragrance of simone androli's glaze ecstasy it's glaze ecstasy you guys yeah i had never heard of that fragrance i've never heard any of my faves the girls that i watch talk about that fragrance but baby when I tell you I went to look after seeing this, y'all, you talking about power? You talking about, yes, it lasts. I would say this lasted me a good maybe four hours because I have worn this down, y'all. This is the only one that wowed me. The only one. And I was so sorry because, are you serious? The one that wows me is the one that was free? <sighs> That ain't right. That ain't even right. 
So I went and bought that, y'all. I think I looked up the notes for this, and I think this was supposed to be like a custardy apricot caramel vanilla fragrance, if I'm not mistaken. And it's just that. When I tell you, it is intoxicating. It is so good, you guys. If there are any that I recommend, you could try Escapade Gourmand. If you want to, you could try Bianco Latte, but I recommend you just go ahead on to Lucky Center somewhere and get you a real sample of the real thing uh, rather than this. But try you Escapade Gourmand. You could try any of the Charosas if that's what you want to do because I think they may get those right. But that, that Glaze Ecstasy, if you like an apricot, caramelized fruity sweet vanilla scent y'all gotta get your hands on that get your hands on glaze ecstasy it's so worth it and that is an expensive niche fragrance i believe i had never heard of it before but i looked it up y'all if that sounds like something you like then give it a try but yeah y'all that wraps up this video i hope you guys enjoyed i'm sorry it's been so long since i brought a video to you but i'm back now if you guys got recommendations or videos that you want me to do if you got fragrance houses you want me to try definitely let me know if you value my opinion i appreciate you <laughs> you guys even if you disagree i'm okay with that you know just be respectful in the comments is all i ask i'm okay with a difference of opinion but you know everybody can't love everything and so i'm just one of those people who obviously just don't love these fragrances <laughs> but yeah we're not gonna stop here i'm gonna keep bringing stuff to you i got some goodies on the way so definitely make sure you guys are subscribed definitely hit the like button if you like these kinds of videos and yeah y'all i'm gonna see you on the next one i appreciate y'all for sticking around bye